Hello Internet Eyes, how are you doing? So, a couple of months ago I made a video talking about some of my favourite YouTubers and why they're my favourite YouTubers. And today I kind of just wanted to continue on that, like, so basically got your favourite YouTubers too. If your favourite YouTuber or if you're not in this video, you might be in the first video. And I'll leave a link in the description and it'll be at the end of this video as well, bloody bloody blah. So yeah, here we go. So some more of my favourite YouTubers. So as with the last video, I'm going to start off by talking about a friend. So somebody I met last year, but I've kind of become quite good friends with this year. He's got a YouTube channel, he's called Random Josh. So Random Josh, he makes two videos a week, one on Mondays, which he likes to call Random Mondays, which is basically about just kind of anything and everything that he wants to talk about. And the videos he uploads on Fridays are makeup videos. I mean, I kind of do watch more of the Random Monday videos and the makeup videos, to be honest, because, yeah, I've never worn makeup in my life unless you count, you know, famous painter at a school fair. But I suppose if I was to collab with him, like, at one point, maybe I would end up, like, wearing makeup or something, or maybe he would do my makeup or something for, like, the first time ever. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know, really. But, yeah, you know, he's, he's a nice guy, and he's almost at a thousand subscribers. So, you know, it'd be great if he could get to there soon. So now I'm going to go down this list the same way I went down the list of my favourite YouTubers in my first video. And that was talking about some people who make YouTube videos that I've met at, like, conventions and stuff. So the first couple of people, well, are twins, really, Nikki and Sammy. I met them last year at Summer in the City and what they did was they were interviewing people asking about their opinions on k-pop music because they're big k-pop fans i don't really know a great deal about k-pop i'm not going to lie i mean bts's new song is quite catchy dynamite i do like that song actually and i like blackpink as well let's kill this love <laughs> to be fair they were quite impressed that i knew let's kill this love in a dance move <laughs> also this year nikki He's come out as gay and he's been kind of using his platform to kind of talk about like LGBTQ plus awareness and acceptance and also about like coming out sort of like later on in life and kind of that experience of coming out later on in life and even though he did come out probably a bit later than some other people you know it's still a very admirable thing that he's doing at the moment so i really applaud that and you know he kind of talks about some of his family's reactions to that including his twin brother and yeah they, nikki and sammy they make videos about you know basically their relationship as twins and whatnot and some like twin challenges and stuff so yeah it's really nice they're really nice so i didn't technically meet her at summer city but i kind of attended some panels that she was part of and that was Tessa Netting. Now, Tessa Netting, she is basically a huge Harry Potter fanatic. She recently turned 30, actually. So, happy 30th birthday, Tessa, <laughs> if you're watching. She's just very fun, very quirky, very enthusiastic. A couple of panels that we visited at Summer in the City last year were the Harry Potter panel. So, that had a few other Harry Potter YouTubers on it. Another thing that I really loved was that her and Brizzy Voices, who I mentioned in my first favourite YouTubers video, they do a podcast called Fantastic Geeks, and they did a panel at Summer in the City, or a podcast at Summer in the City, and basically that was a lot of fun. The panel podcast that we took part in at Summer in the City was basically a Disney Sorting Hat challenge, and you know, going back to some videos I made a couple years ago, you know, I used to love doing the sorting hat challenges. I kind of made a good argument about Rapunzel being in Ravenclaw as well. Another person who makes YouTube videos that I didn't meet at Summer City, but I met at Comic Con was Sweet Ange. I hope I've pronounced her name right. It's Anjali. If you don't know who she is, she voices Symmetra in Overwatch, who's like one of my favourite characters because of that. And what I really love is that her and Carolina Ravassa, who voices Sombra in Overwatch, you know, they're a massive part of the Overwatch community and they fully embrace and go all out on their characters. And 
One video in particular I really loved and we spoke about this a lot was her Overwatch emote dance video where she got like all the Overwatch actors and actresses to basically copy their dance emotes and me and my sister actually did a video a couple of years ago where we tried copying the Overwatch dance emotes as well. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. So basically we told um, Anjali about this video and she was like, oh my god, that's so amazing. She was a lot of fun. I, I like her. I mean, to be fair, she's she does have a like, little mini series on a YouTube channel called I Am Fun Size as well. <laughs> Another YouTuber that me and my sister love watching is Lucas. Now, if you don't know who Lucas is, he was a Nickelodeon star about 10, 15 years ago. He was a character called Fred, I believe. Some people thought he was a bit annoying, but at the moment with his YouTube channel, he's actually kind of hilarious. He's very camp and flamboyant. I just love his Chan Chan. <laughs> and he talks a lot about those old like Disney Channel, Nickelodeon shows and whatnot. And some of the behind the scenes gossip drama and like reacting to them. But another YouTuber that I really love watching with my family is Jay from Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz, who basically kind of got quite a big platform completely by accident. You know, he basically like was going to host an online quiz for just him and a few of his close friends and regular pub goers and whatnot. But he ended up kind of setting the Facebook invite to public. So basically now he's got a huge audience. It is like very fun just kind of tuning in like every week to basically take part in these quizzes. And me and my family do quite well at the quizzes as well. It's something for us all to look forward to every week. And you know, he's come up with like a few of his like token like crap phrases, such as like general knowledge, which is basically like a typo from the first week. It's a lot of fun. And he was just doing that just to kind of entertain people during, you know, this year, the pandemic, the lockdown period. And he's continued to do so since then. Another guy I really love on YouTube is Thomas Sanders. Now, he just seems like the nicest kind of person. You just, you're just that kind of person where you just want to be his friend. I just love him so much. He started off doing short videos on Vine, I believe. And basically they're just like short little comedy sketches, sketch videos and whatnot. And yeah, they're, they're like a lot of fun and sometimes he will do like compilations of short videos and upload them onto YouTube. He now posts those kind of things on like TikTok now. And he also has this series called Sanders Size where basically he's got like four different aspects of his personality or multiple different aspects of his personality. So these multiple aspects of Thomas's personality, they just end up just basically like talking to each other about, you know, a certain scenario about like how each aspect of his personality kind of like reacts and gives like Thomas advice. It was a time where actually I think he ended up watching one of my videos, which was the Lego Disney Castle video when I built my Lego Disney Castle, because he was building the Lego Disney Castle at the time. So basically he ended up saying to me, oh my god, I had the same reaction to you, basically seeing how many pieces and how many instructions there were, and how many different instruction manuals there were, because <laughs> so, that was a huge build. But it would have been nice if he did a video building the Lego Disney Castle as well, that would have been a lot of fun. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about YouTube because he personally inspired me a lot. And the first YouTuber I'm going to talk about is Patrick Dougal. Now Patrick Dougal, he has basically my dream life. I want to be him, to be honest. I want, I just want to be just like him. So basically he ends up like touring like the Disney parks, making vlogs, touring Disney parks when there's like different events going on, covering lots of Disney news. It's just so much fun like experiencing Disneyland and these theme parks through Patrick, and to be honest, I just wish I had his life because outside of YouTube, he works on like films and TV shows, and he makes like TikToks as well. And to be honest, he was actually the reason I actually got into TikTok. Actually, to be honest, in one of his videos where like he ended up changing into different Spider-Man suits, he just seems to have like lots of friendly banter with like the Disney characters that he meets as well, and. He ends up kind of filming like in other parks as well, other theme parks and other parks around the world, other Disney parks around the world, which is just amazing. I just, I just really wish I had his life. Another couple of YouTubers that inspire me a lot are the Super Carlin Brothers as well. Hey brother! <laughs> they make a lot of like theory videos around stuff like Star Wars, Disney, Harry Potter, Pixar. What I really love about 
their videos is that they're very well researched, very well rehearsed, very well edited. And what I really love most though, is their enthusiasm for these things that they're interested in. I just love their enthusiasm, it's just so infectious. Just hearing somebody just light up when they talk about the things they're passionate about, I just find super inspiring and just super uplifting. I really try my hardest to come across that way in my videos, in my personal life, just really with anything I do, you know, because that's just kind of the person I want to be. And hopefully I do come across that way in my videos. If I don't, then I will try to be a bit more enthusiastic and give a bit more oomph into my videos, you know? And the final guy who inspires me as a filmmaker, as a YouTuber, his name's Nathaniel Drew. Now Nathaniel Drew, he gives life advice videos, but what I really like is that he's got a very like calming voice, a very calming aesthetic. He also travels a lot. You get to see like a lot of beautiful places that he visits or lives in for a while. You know, he uses those places and some like relaxing shots and some visually aesthetically pleasing shots, you know, in a calming way to kind of illustrate in a way basically what he's talking about as like a bit of a b-roll and you know that kind of just makes his videos quite unique. It also kind of inspires me to do you know travel and and also the shots are just very like artistic and very very well shot basically. You know I like his style, I like his aesthetic. Speaking of people that are quite calming, a channel I also find quite calming is psych to go Now psych to go have like really helped me to basically identify, you know, basically signs of, you know, mental health issues and stuff like that I might have or my other people might have and they've helped me to maybe sort of like try and read other people, you know, to see, you know, if people are like really genuinely interested in me or whether or not they're just using me. What I really like is that they use like illustrations to like illustrate their points so, and they're quite cute and quite calming illustrations as well and the voiceovers as well are like super calming as well and you know they seem genuinely grateful to have that platform to help other people in need and stuff like that and help to raise awareness of that mental health and raise awareness of psychology and whatnot. I find that channel really really interesting and insightful and I do often watch those videos. Anyway, thanks very much guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments who your favourite YouTubers are. I hope you're on a wonderful day. Until next time, keep smiling. Bye-bye.